Welcome to the Busy to Balance podcast. I am your host, Jamie Zweer. This podcast is all about how to show you, the overworked, overwhelmed, and occasionally unhealthy woman, how to find health and balance in all different areas of your life. I will share with you digestible, bite-sized bits of info on everything from balancing a healthy plate to keeping a healthy home and everything in between. Now listen, I know that you are busy and that is why I will keep these episodes short, sweet, and to the point. Now let's dive into today's episode. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. So today I wanted to talk about a question um, that I think is sometimes a joke. Um, I, I don't know, but I get it often, at least once during every single presentation that I do, or you know, sometimes I get it in Facebook comments, etc. But sometimes people will ask me, "Can't you like do meal prep for me, or do cooking for me, or you know, go grocery shopping for me, or s- don't you?" S- don't you want to sell this food that you're making in a grocery store? And um, my answer is always no, but this question just fires me up. So I think what fires me up is that the underlining reason behind the question is that Well, one, someone doesn't have the time, the energy, the motivation, the ability to do it on their own. And That's what fires me up most about the question because it defeats the whole purpose of my goal. My goal is to show you how to do it, um, show you really how simple it can be to incorporate healthy foods, like healthy fast foods into your, into your day, how it literally takes no time at all, how it just takes a little bit of effort. So I think that question, um, there is just, I guess, a laziness or a, a lack of effort behind wanting to complete it on your own. And don't get me wrong. If you ask me this question, I'm not judging you or think that you're lazy or anything like that, but it just kind of proves how flawed the system is in general and how the system teaches us like, and, and kind of why diets work in general. So, you know, I'll send you this month worth of smoothies or uh, protein powder, and that's what you're going to have. And obviously that's easy. Obviously it might be something that works as a quick fix or, uh, you know, Nutrisystem or, you know, Nutrisystem where they send you a month worth of food. And yes, it's easy. Like you literally microwave something and then it's done for you or the frozen, frozen meals and just these quick things that may give you a small instant fix, but is not going to solve the the overarching issue here. And even if I did provide someone with food or did come to your house and meal prep for a week or did do the grocery shop for you, isn't that still just masking the overall concern that you may have? Like you don't have the time to do it for yourself. And that still doesn't solve the problem because that's, you know, a, a week off or a month off of doing it, but the, the problem still is there. So let me go through the reasons why I don't do it. The first reason why I don't want to do meal prep for you or not, you know, anyone in general, <laughs> I feel like when I say you, someone's going to take this personally because I do get this question like pretty often and I'm not talking about anyone in particular. It is just, um, I'm just speaking in general terms and, uh, okay. So anyway, the reason why I don't do it is because guess what? I don't even like to do it. I don't even want to do it for myself. For real. If I love to do it, why in the world would I would I want to be in and out of the kitchen? Don't you think like my whole presence would be like, make these elaborate dishes and look, it can be healthy and it's fresh, but you're in the kitchen and you're like cooking and like, oh my goodness, F that. Like I... I, (laughs) I say often that like, I'm not even a good cook. Like I blend up sauces and spiralized cucumbers and saute up some meat, but that does not make me a good cook. That 
allows me, that makes me creative. Like I'm creative in the kitchen. I know how to put different flavors together. I'm, you know, efficient. I'm in and I'm out and I, and I know what's healthy. Like that's what makes me who I am. It's not because I'm a good cook. And it's funny, I'll say that often. And uh, I remember saying that at a presentation that I was once at and this woman had me over. She had all of these people over. And before I started the food presentation, I was like, you know what? I'm really not that great of a cook. And she's like waving her arms in the back, like, don't say that. <laughs> and, but it's true. Like I'm not here to make you think that you need to be some sort of skilled chef to do this. No, this is why I teach these classes to kids also, because literally children can do this up, you know, blend this up and mash this together and put, throw this in the oven. Like (laughs) it doesn't have to be elaborate. So my reason number one is that I don't even want to be in the kitchen myself doing it. So I just want to show you how I do it, how I literally throw things in the crock pot, throw things in the microwave, throw things in the oven, blend things up, and it's done. Like it's done in minutes. Like get me in and out of the kitchen. (laughs) I have to say I am generally interested in food. Like I'm interested in nutrition and why different foods are really healthy for you and how it treats the body. So I'm interested in food in general, but not so much the cooking aspect. Like don't ask me how to make baked ziti or like, I don't even know. Don't ask me how to do it. I don't know how to like make those kind of dishes. Um, I, uh, I make simple balanced eats, wink, wink, go get the cookbook and you'll get all of my breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack recipes. Okay. So moving on. The second reason why I don't do this is because I believe there's like 1 million other (laughs) services that already do this, like for real. Why in the world would I do it when I could just recommend you if that's really what you want to do? Like there's nothing wrong if you want someone to grow, go grocery shopping for you, go meal prep for you, or send you meals. Like, cool. Like that's great. You know, you're still getting healthy meals in that may be expensive to do, but I can recommend uh, plenty of services to you. I partner with a lot of them and I love a lot of them. So I don't want to do it, but I can recommend you someone else that does it. And plus like, doesn't Wegmans and Whole Foods and ShopRite sell like pre <laughs> pre portioned meals like at the fresh section they they're gonna they cost you like a thing of spiralized um spiralized zucchini it drives me nuts how much they are like a spiralizing a zucchini package up is like nine dollars or eleven dollars like for maybe two zucchini and I'm like why. <laughs> Like go get a zucchini and it's like a dollar, not even like a dollar fifty per pound. So guys, <clears throat> sorry, this this is a topic that really fires me up. So um so anyway, bear with me. Okay, so one, I don't like to cook. Two, I believe there's exactly one, <laughs> approximately one million services out there that already do this. So I don't want to be another one. And lastly, and most importantly, is that I like to teach the ladies, you women, how to do this um, instead of actually doing it for you. It's similar when you're working with children. You know, you want the children to be able to try to tie their shoes on their own. Otherwise, no, they'll never learn their whole life how to tie a shoe. If you're like, oh, let me get it, Johnny. Let me just, let me tie your shoe for you. Let me do it. Let me do it. And you know, and obviously it's easier to have someone tie your shoe. So they say, Hey mommy, tie my shoe. And you're like, okay, let me tie your shoe. And then they're like 18 and don't know how to tie their shoe. Okay, that's an extreme example, but it's along those lines where, um, and then that that popular quote, proverb, I don't know what the hell it is, but it's like, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Or if you teach a man a fish, you feed him for a lifetime. And this is what I am trying to get you women to do. Obviously, like I said, there are services out there. You can get a quick fix. You won't get it from me, but there are things out there that will send you the food. They will send you whatever you want. They will do the grocery shopping for you. And again, like those are things that, you know, grocery, doing grocery shopping for you is actually a huge time saver. Um, But, you know, there are those things that do it for you. And 
And if, if that's something that you can afford and, and stick to in your budget, then, then that's fine. Then that's a fix for you. And then that's, but if it, if you find buying $11 spiralized zucchini or having someone deliver food to you is expensive and you don't really have the money for that, then you kind of have to learn how to do it on your own. And that's really what I do in through my cookbook, through my coaching, you know, my coaching is essentially my cookbook brought to life where some of you may have the cookbook sitting on your, you know, kitchen counter or bookshelf and it's sitting there. You're like, I really would love to incorporate those recipes or I would really love to do those, that goal journal or the meal prep guide, all that stuff, but you just haven't gotten around to it. And my coaching is what brings that to life. Like it's going to encourage you and support you and hold you accountable and give you those resources and tools that will just nudge you in all the right ways to get that stuff done. So, you know, through very gentle, uh, gentle ways, I, I am not forceful. I'm not me, but what I do is really work on figuring out, well, what barrier, like it's a valid reason to not have any time. Like I don't have the time to meal prep. Like that's valid. Like I work crazy hours. I'm a nurse. I work these, like those are valid things. So what I do is, you know, help you navigate through those waters. You know, if you have children at home and, you know, you are not finding time to feed yourself while your kids are at home, or if you're working a crazy schedule at work and you don't find the time to eat lunch, like those are things that happen. We're humans, like it happens. But I teach you to, you know, through self-respect and through these these um, behaviors and th- with positive time management tips, I, f- I show you how to find the time and how to respect yourself enough to say, you know what, I'm going to take a 15 minute break. And I understand that this work is very important, but I need to take this time for myself so that you can fill up your own cup. Like you can't keep giving and giving and giving and giving and giving to other people without replenishing yourself. So, you know, through like little nuggets and pieces of time and we we work on really figuring out what it is that you're doing with your time and for and more than that, like when it comes to your budget, you know, I don't have the money to buy all the, these groceries and all, all these healthy foods. And that's again, a valid, valid reason. And, um, again, as a health coach, I work to help you figure out how we can fit healthy foods in your budget. What are the best places to shop and how can we get those healthy foods into your lifestyle so that it is within a reasonable budget, within a reasonable time frame, and within reason for you, because everything that you want as cheesy as it sounds, I don't care. It's achievable. This is all achievable. I know you may be feeling frustrated and completely overwhelmed and you've tried everything before, but promise me, I promise you when I tell you this, that it's doable. And with, again, with the accountability, with the support, with the resources, with the tools like the cookbook, you can find balance in your life. You can find health in your life. You can achieve these things in your life. And so that is like the conclusion, the end of my rant here. But I just, I get, I just got that question again. And again, like I'm not pointing fingers. It's just funny. I, when I hear it, I kind of laugh, but it really does light a fire in me. And I wanted to emphasize those reasons why I don't do it. And if you really wanted the help and support of learning how to do it on your own, or even recommendations as to places that can do it for you, I'm here to help. I want to help. I want to teach. I want to lead. I want to show you that you can do it. And being the woman in the household, you're leading by example for your husband, for your spouse, for your children, for your neighbors, for your friends, for your family. Lead by example and show others that you can do this. You can lead a healthy life. You can find balance in a busy life. You can and you will do this. And again, I'm here to support. So all of my information is always in the show notes and I'm always happy to connect. And I want you all to continue this conversation in the Busy to Balance Facebook group, which again is in the show notes. And I'm going to create a thread and I want everyone to hop on and kind of leave your thoughts and what you what you think about this episode. And you may agree and chances are you may not agree because 
this is about, this is, this is where you're at, you know, for my women listening, this is where you're at. So for you to agree with those concepts might be triggering. Like, you know, sometimes I don't like listening or hearing other people tell me what I should be doing. Um, and then I'm just like, shut up. You don't know anything. But then when I sit down and think about it, I'm like that caused that reaction in me because they're right or because that's triggering me in all the, you know, the right ways, essentially, because that is an area that I need to focus on, you know? So I hope I'm not upsetting anyone. I am definitely not talking about anyone in particular. This is just a general topic that I wanted to talk about because it's just funny that I get this question a lot. So again, hop on over to the Facebook group. Let me know what your thoughts are, and I will catch you all next week. Have a great week. Bye.